How are you? Good. I got my coffee. Yep. Same. So um, it's a get real, y'all. I just sent a message to these two and said, hey, I got to talk. Anybody available? And look, they both showed up. <laughs> um, so I got to get real. And I need to tell you my plan. And I need to get feedback because... As you know, it has been a struggling, I don't even like to talk about it anymore because I feel like if it were a drinking game, we'd all be drunk. Like, <laughs> my house right, wait, back up. This my is house. the aha moment that we spoke about in episode, our last episode, 115. This uh -huh. is it. This was my this aha moment. Doing. Molly's aha moment. We're getting I'm, real about it. I'm sharing my aha right. moment. So I'm <laughs> trying to get a grasp on my house, on all of the, $10,000 plus dollars worth of inventory that I still need to list, but it's all chaotic because we had downstairs remodel, blah, blah, blah. Well, that's coming to an end. We're at the very end. Furniture's back. We're getting the little nitty gritty. So we in our book club, of course, are doing, oh, I lost my book, The Slight Edge. Um, and it's had me thinking a little differently about things. And in doing The Slight Edge and the little things that we do every day that make us productive and successful, I thought, how can I do that with the overall chaos in my house? Because mm -hmm. we talked about this at Boss with um, Susan and Melissa and talked about how ADD is a big thing with resellers. And we decided that maybe there's a lot of ADD resellers because we like all the um, little adrenaline kicks we get from reselling, the sourcing, finding something, the selling, the, there's a lot of that for us. But on the flip side, inventory can be very overwhelming for us. So my brain has been on shutdown mode. I just can't get beyond the chaos. And it's how I've always been. My husband does well, but this is so massively beyond anything we've ever dealt with that I have just been a train wreck. Have I not? I've been. I I'm mean, probably more excited about this aha moment than you are, or <laughs> as excited because I work with you. Yeah. All right. Let's be honest, Libby, be honest. This is the least productive I've ever been. Truth. Yeah. Correct. I yeah. mean, yeah. I can't, it is the least productive I've ever been in getting listings done and focusing on my job. It's just shut my brain down. So I had an aha moment. I had a big old brain fart, y'all. It was so big, it <laughs> rocked my house, okay? I am going to, this weekend as we bring in, we have piles of buckets of stuff that are coming in our house to go back into the cupboards and the shelves and the whatever. I am going to bring one bucket in at a time and for every bucket that we empty, which by the way, friends, I already have two boxes set aside for donate, yard sale, list, because it's not all coming back in my house. So I already have my three buckets in a room set up with signs. So we're ready to, what's going in goes in, the rest gets in its proper bucket. That I already have. I have decided, and we have a lot of buckets, for every bucket that I empty in the garage, I am going to bring it upstairs and fill it with unlisted items seal it and put it in the garage. And then we're gonna bring the next bucket out, empty it, put it in the garage. I am going to get it all out of my house because having it everywhere shuts me down. It's, there's just too much going on. I love so it. The way that I feel like I, my brain can move forward is to clear it out have my house the way I need it to be as far as distracting clutter, and then pull in one bucket at a time. Pull wow. in a bucket, get it listed. Once it's listed, then you can pull in another bucket out of the garage. But none of it, unless it's listed and put away in my storage room, is going to be allowed to come in my space. I love this. I also love that you weren't even at our Patreon group the other day and we discussed this exact same method in a different, Did you really? a different yeah. way, but we, yeah, this was yep. some other advice that we had talked about. Yeah. Yeah. So look at you. 
Yeah, yeah. So we're starting our masterminds in our weekly mastermind meeting uh, through our Patreon, where we're going to be going through all of this. And the other piece of this, the get real piece, the really real piece is the accountability. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I love accountability. <laughs> so we will absolutely Molly, you are in the right place at the right time. And yeah, so and you're listen, not the only one going through this. Absolutely. And putting yeah, together a plan. I, I believe that there's nobody better for accountability than Samantha, because I think she's really good at keeping on you. Oh, and I was going to say, cause she's really scary, but that was a really nice way to put it. <laughs> Well, she keeps on you. She keeps you real. And you know, you got to face her when you're going to come in there and be like, eh, eh, eh. but you're really good at keeping up with it. You're really good at doing it. Not to say you're not either, Libby. You are good at it. You've been doing it with us too. But maybe, maybe it is that Samantha's a little more scary because <laughs> so in, in our community, I've been keeping some lists and my list got so big that now, now we have to start a spreadsheet mm-hmm. of all everybody's goals and accountability that I have to yeah. remind them about. Yeah. Well, and I mean, it's great. I mean, I'm so looking forward to the the weekly meetings where we kind of like mastermind this stuff because maybe it is that you don't hit that accountability, which is what you were going to be accountable for. That's fine. But I think getting to the root of why and what thing. you can do to overcome it is the most important piece of that getting real. Yeah, and that's we're going to be think. there to help you work through everything and help over those stumbling blocks so you don't stop again and just sit there overwhelmed because we don't want our Molly overwhelmed. I know, no. and I think the emotional, um, because it is emotional. I mean, any of this clutter, <sighs> any of this stuff, it does just take a hold on you day in and day out. And it, and then you start beating yourself up because you're like, I'm not getting my stuff done. I'm just, I, this is horrible. And you start getting real hard on yourself and that's just this long tumble. And I know I'm one of so many that go through this at some point in your life and having an accountability group, I think is going to be wonderful because I also think that one thing the three of us are very good at is supporting each other with with strength and positivity. Like we'll tell you when you got to change something, but it's out of love. And I think we are all three very compassionate people. Um, but we all three also will say, hey, let's get this done. Um, and I do like the idea, Smith, like you were saying, is that we get to the bottom of the why. The why. Mm-hmm. Like, why is this? Why have, I mean, I have some physical things that have happened in my house that have caused some of it, but that's not that's not it that I can't blame it all on that I mean who goes sourcing when you have ten thousand dollars worth of product you haven't listed yet and add to the pile but then but then you also got to look at the ten thousand dollars worth of stuff that is there because you didn't ask for some of that you didn't go and source some of that and there are emotions tied to that and a lot of people feel that I I know tons of people I had someone message me this morning they need to consign an estate and we talked about the steps they need to do that because they can't stand looking at it they there's things that happen that get you in situations like that and it's all about facing that and taking the steps and having friends that you can lean on to get you through it yeah it's hard I didn't realize how hard it would be until the first live sale we did with Conchi consignment and I had put a couple of my mom's items in there and then when I actually went to go show the item I it was really hard you know and it was like am I making a mistake am I no I'm not you know I knew in the end I wasn't but you don't realize how emotional it is I mean we've been compassionate with so many people with estates once it becomes your own family's estate you realize wow I mean that's it's not easy and I've got boxes of that stuff to go through and there have been so many times where something has happened and I'm like oh my gosh I have that of my mom's I could have sold that you know that would have been that would have sold during this time or but you know, for whatever reason, it's been a very difficult thing for me to get through. But y'all, I'm ready. Get through it. You're going to get through it. And I'm excited. I'm excited to see that journey. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, I think this is the answer. I'm always up for suggestions if somebody else has them, but knowing the way my brain works, I cannot function in clutter. And the way to beat that is to get the clutter out first. Yeah. Get it out and create my clean, decluttered haven, and then bring it in piece by piece. 
Yeah. I mean, I've been doing that small scale with my office because my living room got out of hand again the last few weeks. And my husband is still looking around the living room going, what, what happened? We had months of this not happening. What happened? Well, I have decluttered my office and my office is quite empty. I had so many little piles around here, little money mountains that I had been, that I didn't even realize that's why I wasn't consistently bringing things up anymore the way I had been. So you got to start with a fresh area and then take it piece by piece. Yeah. Got this. So I'm excited and you know me, I want it done now. And so I know we have like the weekend off. The only thing that nobody's going anywhere. It's Nick and I, he did say he wants to prune the crepe myrtle. I'm like, do you really want to do that this weekend? Do you really want to do that this weekend? I'm going to prune your office this weekend. (laughs) (laughs) He needs to recognize the motivation you have going on and prune that. Let's not prune prune the myrtle this weekend. Come on, come on. It's such a a project for him that he, he enjoys doing and it's his project. But I want it all done this weekend, but I have to be realistic to know there is so much stuff, but I, I, I'm ready to jam. I'm so ready to jam and I'm ready to not bring stuff back into my house, into my cupboards that isn't something that we need on a weekly basis. All right. I'm going to throw a little slight edge, a little, little, little thing in there because you want it all done at the same time. And, you know, that may not happen. Mm-hmm. And you can't give up or get disappointed. You just have to do a little bit every day, like nothing heroic. Like you want to have a big heroic weekend. Well, maybe that's not going to work out. Maybe it will. And that's awesome. But when you have a huge goal looming like this, just take it in small chunks and be consistent every day. If you can only spend 20 minutes a day, then at least spend that 20 minutes a day and don't give up and say, I didn't get it all done. I think that has been super powerful for me. Yeah. Because, yeah, we want it all done. We want it, but tortoise in the hair, you just yeah. keep plugging away. And that's a mentality that you're saying in the book that I have to really drive home into my brain because I tend to be an all or nothing. If it's not, it didn't come across perfect the way I wanted, then I'm done. Forget yeah. it. I screwed up. It's over. Walk away. Um, and then you just find yourself just standing there for an hour, staring at buckets, going... Yeah. Uh, which one do I start with? I don't know. I also love that you call totes buckets. That took me a minute to figure out. That's oh really? (laughs) (laughs) Tubs, buckets, totes. Yeah, yeah. So you know those big containers with lids. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. So if you guys have also you know got some inspiration from Molly's aha moment, I'm gonna say set a 10 minute timer and just do as much as you can in that 10 minutes, and that way you're moving forward and you're taking that step and you're getting started don't think about the whole thing 10 minutes and just boom 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 and that's enough to get you started Mm -hmm. start somewhere yeah all right ladies (laughs) I I cannot thank you enough for jumping on and listening to me because I've been holding this in and it's one of those things that when you have that aha moment you just want to say guess what it's out in the world now it's happening I have put it out in the world now it is there so yeah I'm tempted to get started on that bucket now but I got to get my resale therapy done and when I'm done with it I might very well start a bucket all right well good luck all right y'all see you in the mastermind group and we will be we will be getting updates on your progress so thank you thank you thank you thank you and maybe others will be going through it with me at the same time yes thank you for being so real yes All right, ladies. Love ya. Bye. 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 Thanks for joining Libby, Molly, and Samantha, the ladies of Consignment Chats, as we build a resourceful community of collaborative resellers. Find all the ways to connect with us on consignmentchats.com. Episodes are available on YouTube and anywhere you get your podcasts. In addition, join our free private Facebook community.